Finally, Eugene Purier over at Breakthrough News. He works with Rania Kalik as well. A lot. And I also saw a Judd Legume article about this. This it's a propaganda against shoplifting. So they're trying to scare people that shoplifting is a huge problem, right? But they're talking about, okay, this CVS executive in San Francisco specifically, and I believe he's probably going to reference the popular information article. <clears throat> Data does not black, back up claims of a nationwide shoplifting surge, all right? And the number of reported shoplifting offenses dropped 18% between 2019 and 2020, of course. But 2020, ha half the year, the stores are locked down. So hard to... Um, Hard to hard to measure, but it is not it's not real. And again, yeah, Adam Johnson has been explaining there are other clear points of context that cast out on this whole story. Walgreens has been publicly stating it planned to close hundreds of stores both to save money and capitalize on the real estate, but now they can blame the workers or they can blame crime. Okay? It seems fairly clear, as they've been indicating in their social spending debates. Paying, ta paying no taxes in order to actually uh, help address the social conditions that cause people to commit economic crime, quote unquote. That's a good one. And this is a podcast, uh, 12 minutes long. I would highly recommend listening to that, Eugene, over at Breakthrough News. Um, I will go look at the popular info. If you take a look, he just did a thing about... Where is it? Was it his? This is what it was. This is about concentrated power and, and monopoly power making inflation price and everything go up. But I don't I don't think that this is this is about the shoplifting thing. Although he did talk mm -hmm. about Tropicana. I know, I know he wrote something uh, about this. <laughs> Oh, duh. The number one article. Look at the top. Couldn't be any bigger. The truth about shoplifting in San Francisco. <laughs> there you go. Right? There you go. So again. Guys, I hate to I hate to time the video, but it's 227 in the evening. And I don't I don't think there's a strong enough coffee for Indy. So <laughs> <laughs> So this is this has the goods and it talks about exactly how the shoplifting rate has been dropping over time yeah. in San Francisco. And that the whole thing is just propaganda in order to be able to blame the community for why they're closing it here. Before their narrative fell apart, it helped generate coverage in the New York Times on San Francisco's shoplifting surge. Mm. All right. California's leading source of crime disinformation is the California Globe. And again, Judd Legume, accountability journalism. He's going to tear into the ones that are that are using, quote unquote, journalism, but actually creating propaganda with it. Hmm. Makes sense. Also reporting California Globe used to flip California House seat. Who's behind the California Globe? All right. NewsGuard, which is an independent organization that evaluates publications' credibility, gave the California Globe a failing rating for severely violating basic journalist standards. And by the way, NewsGuard also rates popular information as a top site. Well, you better get hip to Indie Left. Indie Left. Indie Left. Dot News.